other interesting political news, you have Representative Elon Omar hosting an event with zero American flags, but many Somalian flags while speaking Somali. Interesting. Now this comes to us thanks to End Wokeness on X Twitter, in which he says, quote, Representative Elon Omar, Democrat, just held an event in Minneapolis, zero English, zero American flags. Which, I don't say F minus for marking, what the heck is she wearing? It looks like something you gave out of Hobby Lobby, like a dress, like maybe not blankets. I'm kidding, it's probably her. Maybe it's her brother's? It's kind of a pun, because, yeah, she, um, she's very close to her brother. Let's see what she's saying here. For the record, she is not rapping. This isn't a music video. I thought it might be, might have been at first. It, it is not, in fact, not. She's on a stage speaking to a whole crowd of people. <laughs> And you see the audience, they got all the Somali flags. Not a single suit out there. Come on. And let's see. Yeah, I, yeah, I was going to say maybe there was like a. There was no subtitles in this. But yeah, very large crowd. I mean, they love her over there. A lot of people in the crowd. Got 2.8 million views on social media. It's quite a few to say at least. 33,000 likes. Again, she is catering to the audience. There's a reason Minnesota, many people say it was been conquered. They recently changed their flags so that it's not identical to the Somalian flag, but pretty much like a, like a discounted flag for Somalia. If you went to Somalia, you got one of their flags from like the dollar store, like a knockoff flag. It kind of looked the same. So the historic flag that Minnesota's used for, I mean, longer than I've been alive, and the beautiful artwork on it. It's now rudimentary. It has a star and similar silly rudimentary shapes on it. And yeah, this is, I think, one of the biggest differences that we've seen culturally, as well as politically through my life, or meh, past couple decades, you really don't see a lot of assimilation in the United States or like a melting pot anymore. I mean, when my family, when my mom came from Cuba, and no, I'll beat that in the comments, we did not swim here. They actually got a plane, one of the, one of the last planes out, fascinatingly enough, when Fidel took over, another topic for another time or story for another time. But I mean, when they got here, they immediately started learning English and assimilate to the culture. I mean, when I was a kid, she spoke a little bit of Spanish. I know, like, one or two phrases. I mean, but, yeah. But you see, places like Minnesota, especially Minneapolis, it is almost like an entire, it's basically Somalia. I mean, there's been pictures and videos where, again, you're, I don't see a single American flag here. And yet, you see there, like, and again, that's, I think, to me, let me know in the comments if you think differently, but it used to be there's much more assimilation. Not as not so much, and again, went pretty vile. One of the first comments comes from Gunther Eagleman saying, "Going quote, Elon is a traitor. She has no business representing Americans." It got nine point eight thousand likes, which she's also publicly said her main priority is not in my states, it's Somalia, and many people have also mirrored that as well. Which, again, if the United States and Minneapolis isn't her top priority, why is she like? Why does she have that job? I mean, the people there elected her, but they're also from Somalia. And granted, they're becoming American citizens, but it is fascinating to see someone in the U.S. government openly admit that their America is not their top priority. Now, one of the, and then we do have some contrarian statements. We have human. Well, we'll say this alleged human because that's just what a robot would use as a real name, wouldn't it? And his human is, of course, if you're tuning into long format show, you know, he's a leftist. He has an American flag, Ukrainian flag, and a blue wave. There's his profile picture. Got 34,000 followers. And he says, quote, your fixation on American flags is a sad attempt to question Representative Omar's patriotism, where flags are present at a single event is irrelevant to her dedication to serving her district and country. Furthermore, implying that this event was un-American, oh wow, it goes on and on. Well, he, you know he's pissed when he uses bold for some letters. Nevertheless, he says, quote, let's see here. Furthermore, implying that this event is un-American is both offensive and false. Representative Omar is a duly elected U.S. representative engaging in her, with her constituents is the very essence of American democracy. Now it's unbold. He says, quote, stop spreading misinformation designed to divide Americans. Every single one of your posts is to divide our nation by race, gender, or religion. A divided nation is weak. Mostly mentally vacuous, but 227 did uh, people did like his comment. Now, in terms of, what is it? Oh yeah, end wokeness. I mean, I've been following that profile for quite some time. There's a lot of cultural uh, posts that he has. And I don't see him trying to divide us in those ways. This person also says, a divided nation is weak. I agree with that sentiment. However, 
I think our country is partially divided culturally and politically because people are not assimilating to American values, such as the Bill of Rights and the Constitution, which, again, there are some people, regardless of what, I don't, care what, I don't give a damn what someone's race is, if they don't believe in the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, they should not work in government, which is quite horrifying that there are many people in the government who want to take away your guns, tax the hell out of you. Again, if the founding fathers ever found out, they'd be disgusted beyond belief. Now, human continues saying, quote, what is this, Roch? Upster? I don't know, this, he responded saying, quote, this Ukrainian flag works like a charm. It exposes a, a paid Russian troll farm bots uh, like clockwork. It never fails to smoke out the Kremlin's most pathetic disinformation pushholders. I probably support Ukraine. Why? Someone, I guess, responded saying Ukrainian flag, LOL. I got 27 likes, which, again, this person's not from Ukraine. I, there's a fascination with some Americans supporting country. It's even more crazy where you see some Americans, they won't have a United States flag on their property without the Ukrainian flag there. Or again, they couldn't point to it on a map or tell us if we're the top 10 trading partners of that country. Well, we are not one of their top 10 trading partners for business. But nevertheless, he uh, continued with that. Wait, hey, we do. We do have someone who agreed with him. Someone said, uh, read, rad thoughts. Says literally all the people like Envogus are so obsessed with flags and the size of everything are only showing how shallow they are. There's no substance or quantity in what they talk about when it comes to the, fur uh, the future of our country. She got 47 likes. Oh, Bam Algo says, plenty of flags present, just not American ones. Yep, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. Got 18 likes. Which, yeah, flags are important. They're, I mean, the United States flag is supposed to literally unite all 50 states. That's uh, quite unfortunate that our flags are actually more prevalent in the United States these days, as crazy as that might sound. Going back to the main comments, Planet of Memes. Oh, again, there's no, no meme, really, Planet of Memes, only text today. Nevertheless, this alleged planet of memes says she is anti-American, getting 223 likes. Also, this person says this is the goal of globalist, getting 80 likes. Paul Zuba goes step one, one step further, saying Ilan Omar is a terrorist, getting 280 likes. Class 6 group says foreigners and people with dual citizenship should not be allowed in the government, getting 2.3 thousand likes, which that would be a very interesting debate. If you're a, if you're a U.S. government official, should you have dual citizenship? Should your top priority be the United States? I'm, I, I mean, obviously, I think you sh your top priority should be the United States. Should they be allowed to have dual citizenship? That would be interesting. Maybe we should vote to repeal, make that illegal, or they have to repeal it. Because again, one of the big, biggest critiques of her, not just you know hating America, but many people also critique her saying the United States is not her top priority. Which, well, she's also said that quite part out loud several times. Which, if it's not your top, first top priority, why should you have the ability to serve in public office? And again, if you, I don't, whatever your political affiliation is, your top priority should be for the American people. Now, General TM says because Omar is a domestic terrorist and hates America, getting 2.7 thousand likes. Let's see. What is this? Perkles the Great says Omar is a disgrace. America is last for her. Let's prosecute her for lying on immigration documents when she married her brother and expect her, expel her from America. And she says, quote, it's not because you're Muslim, or not her, it's a picture of her, and the text says, it's not because you're Muslim, it's because you're a criminal, anti-Semitic, anti-American, and pro-terrorist, and a disgraced member of Congress. At 863 likes. Which, yeah. Let's see here. DK says, someone needs to buy her a one-way ticket back to Somalia. Which, it is fascinating. She constantly says how much she hates the United States and how evil the United States is. Yet, someone with, I can't think of any qualifications, came to America and got a job and got, well, got a job in government. How often does it happen in other countries? It literally is the only, it, it's the land of opportunity. If you work for it. Or DK also has a picture of her. says, we are, Dem we Democrats are fighting for an inclusive America, except for the old elderly, elderly white men, Republicans, Christians, veterans, Southerners, etc. Got 404 likes. Let's see. The re NH says accurate. It says people marking their social media pages so the FBI and IRS will pass over them. It's the old biblical saying in terms of, you know, blood over your, over your uh, door threshold. You're pointing the pride flag and it says BLM, Democrat, East Sign. Got 271 likes for that particular post. Let's see here. Any other contrarian statements? One bad dude says she's not loyal to the United States. Gained 1,000 likes. Joshua Walker says expel her. She obviously doesn't represent Americans. Her and her brother need to be deported. Gained 920 likes. The base electrician says this is what needs to be removed from all political leadership in the U.S. immediately. If not America first, you're America last. At 349 likes. Bad Kitty Unleash says, I hereby rename Minneapolis Little Somalia. 197 likes. 
Mirna says Oma Obama did this. He brought in Omar. He chooses MN to go Muslim. Sorry, he chose Minnesota to go Muslim. Got 215 likes. Ray says remove all dual citizenship from positions of power. Getting 529 likes. Let's see here. The flag guy says, on the contrary, rallies in support of Israel always have American flags. Getting 208 likes. Unlimited L's said this shouldn't be allowed. Getting 385 likes. Tim Young says, but was her husband and brother there to support her? Getting 307 likes. Let's see here. Katie Charlotte says, and the Prime Minister of Somalia is on hand for support. Yeah, at least a gentleman did suit up and tie up pretty good. He looks fancy. Let's see, say, oh, actually, he might, I won't, probably won't be able to understand him unless he, well, we'll see what he says. <laughs> so, obviously, it's not English, but on the text on the screen, it says, here, Representative Elon Omar, who has written the name of Somalia with a gold pen. <laughs> He says the interests of Elon are not Elon. Not the of Minnesota. Or the interests of the American people. The interest of Elon is that of Somalian people and Somalia. So I, again, I'm not sure if this. I don't speak the language. I'm not sure if this is an ex, an accurate translation. I mean, we've heard similar things before in English, but I don't know for sure. He says the success of Elon is the success of Somalia and carries a heavy meaning for the US. Me speaking in the name of people, Somalian people, I'll just scroll through it. Everywhere they are on the planet, I'm asking that you support and give money to Elon's campaign to support her with your votes. Tell your neighbors and friends and anyone who you know to come out and support Elon Omar. So they can ultimately vote for her and knock on every door you can for her so that she can be reelected. What it, what is your promise? Your promise is to come and shoulder to shoulder to Elon's shield or to be her shield and vote for her again. With all of you working together. Thank you. God bless. Again, what, I mean, have you ever seen that where a foreign dignitary comes to the U.S. and says how important it is to support them? And again, I'm not sure if this is a, an accurate translation. This might be photoshopped by someone. This is just a video. Uh, it looks like it was reposted by Dr. Dr. Carlo. And they did get 59 likes. One more. Moon Soon says, disgusting. It's the warning signs. It says, beware of members of Congress pretending to be Americans. Getting 103 likes. Here. Any contrarian statements? Gretchen Smith says she's not an American. She's smiling her... Words and actions show her loyalty is with her native land. Getting 371 likes. Let's see. Uh, no, I'm not seeing any contrary statements. Because again, she's been reelected in spades, as some might say. I mean, they vote for her overwhelmingly. And she's been, in, I mean, she's been successfully elected multiple times. She's been in power for years. It'll be interesting to see if this video goes viral and they actually has any effect on her. Again, the local population loves her. It will be interesting to see, maybe culturally, politically, if there's, there's any support in the U.S. to actually pass laws where you could not have dual citizenship if you're in a position of government power. And, yeah, it is uh, quite interesting to see, because, yeah, we've seen the flag. No one would have ever thought that a state would actually change their flag after this many years. And the flag literally looks like a, knock a cheap knockoff of the Somalian flag, which is already rudimentary design, to say the least. Granted, not like my penmanship is any better than I could maybe design a better flag, but let me know in the comments. Do you think that maybe this will just peter out? Does anyone in the middle or maybe politically left or might see this post and maybe concerned or horrified? Let me know in the comments. As always, I'd be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, try to get to 4,000 subscribers at the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.